All right, guys, welcome back to Three Putts Golf. Today we're going to do something a little different than what we normally do. Uh, normally we go out and show you a course vlog, but we wanted to try to do something different to bring you some new content. So today we're going to do a couple different clubs, manufactured versus manufactured, see what club boasts more distance and forgiveness. And what Doug didn't show you is we got a fancy new toy for the channel. It's a Flight Scope Mevo, so um, review coming soon, but overall, so far, the results are really good. So, all right, I think we're going to start with driver first. We're going to hit my M1 versus Doug's Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic. So a couple years old, but it's going to be interesting to see what the tests show. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> So we're gonna start head to head. My M1 versus Doug's Epic. And you can see they're both set up pretty neutral. And uh, I think I'll go first and I'll start with the M1. So you'll probably hear the uh, Mevo calling out numbers. If there's any really off the wall shots, we'll, shots we'll delete those just cause, you know, we're amateurs. So um, <laughs> anyway, M1 starting up first. 244.5 yards. A little pull, but pretty good. That was better. 249.5 yards. And that's all carry yards that it's calling out, by the way. yards. So that's pretty good. I haven't hit the driver that well so far this year, so that was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the Epic and see what we got. There's good. I'm regretting wearing pants and long sleeves. 240.2 yards. That was a good strike. Ready. 239.1 yards. All right, cool. That was pretty well hit. All right. Doug's turn coming at you. Which one are you going to start with? I'll start Epic. All right, Doug's going to start Epic. 3.8 yards. That was a nice shot. Ready. 9 yards. Ready. All right, so that's that. We'll take a look at the numbers and uh, we will be back with you guys in just a little bit once we get back inside. All right, guys, we're back inside now. Going to take a look at some data. With the M1, Doug was averaging about 222, or excuse me, 223 carry with about 140 ball speed. So that's not too bad. His overall average smash factor was 1.36. So pretty solid. If we look up at the individual shots, because we each did five, you'll see his best one carried here at 230. And that one mostly was because of the smash factor. So he hit that one pretty well with 1.4 smash factor. And um, he had 100 mile an hour club head speed, which is pretty solid for Doug. He also, the spin on that one was also right where it should be, even though the launch was a little high. But that's all right. So his shortest one was up here was 213 yards of carry. And you'll see he, that was must not have been a very good strike. The, the smash was down at 1.3. And then the spin and launch were both way up at almost 3,000 uh, and 17 degrees of launch. And yeah, that's about it for Doug with uh, my M1. So let's move over and take a look at the Epic. All right, so let's take a look at Doug's results with the Epic. His overall carry was at 227.1, which is about four yards further than he was with the M1. And the reason that was, he had similar ball speed. He also had similar smash factor. But if we look at the spin, it was down um, about 200 revs on average, and the launch was a little bit lower. So yeah, like I said, it's about four yards of overall carry better than he had with the M1, 
but pretty similar results overall. I think you could probably tweak either club and get it kind of right where he needed it to be. Consistency with the Epic is maybe a touch better. You can see all of his carry distances other than this one at 233. They're all pretty much in the 220s, which is pretty typical for what Doug's hitting. He did have one that launched pretty high here at 19.1, and he had one that spun up pretty high at 3600, so a couple of outlier numbers there. But overall, it seems like Doug's in the, the right driver for him right now in the uh, Callaway Great Big Brother Epic. All right, let's swap over and take a look at my results with uh, the Epic now that we just looked at Doug's. Overall, I hit it okay. I gotta be honest, it's not my favorite driver that I've hit. It's pretty good, but I think I would be more suited probably for the Sub-Zero or maybe a little bit less loft. So, because what I'm seeing here is you can see my launch angles are all a little bit high, up around 15, 16, and the spin's also a little high, especially this one here at 3,600, but I didn't have any, I mean, the lowest I had was 2,600, which is okay, uh, but most of them were up higher than that. So, smash factor's all on the 1.3s, so I didn't hit it great, but overall average carry distance was 238.3, um, with an average smash of 1.35. But the overall average spin was up around 3,000, which I would like that to be more in the, you know, 22, 2300 roughly area. So not too bad, but like I said, not my favorite driver, as you'll see here in a second when we swap over to my results with the M1. All right, so let's take a look at that. All right, so here are my results with the M1. If you guys remember, we had the weights set as neutral as possible on these, so the, the Epic was in the middle. The M1 was in the middle of the front track and the middle of the back track. So looking at that, you can see my average carry distance jumped up to 245.6. And overall, that w I was pretty consistent with the carry distances. I had one that was a little low at 240, but overall they were, they were pretty good. Smash factors all were on average were better than they were with the Epic. So you can see here my lowest was 1.36, which was obviously not a very good strike. But I still run into the fact with this that I'm launching it a little bit high. So we have one at 16, a couple at 15. I'd like to be, like I said, launching it a little bit lower. That may be just a function of the loft of the club. The spin was a little better. And actually where I normally play this club, I actually have that backtrack weight even a little further forward, uh, more toward the front of that track. So I'm seeing spins even a little bit lower than this, but these are all not too bad. I had the one outlier here at 2600. But yeah, overall, like I said, carry distance averaging 245.6, the average smash factor of 1.42, and an average spin of 2400 and change. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with that, and it uh, seems like I'm in the right driver for me compared to uh, the Epic as well, which is what we were kind of interested in, in testing today. So thank you guys for watching 3 Putts Golf. Uh, I've been Jeremy with my not-so-expert analysis of uh, the numbers here. If you see any errors I made, just go ahead and point them out in the comments down below. Um, you know, my fancy little drawings here. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I've been Jeremy. This has been 3 Putts Golf, and we will see you next time.